Researchers are studying stem cell treatments for patients living with HIV. A patient in Germany is now virus free after a bone marrow transplant. The transplant replaced his stem cells with the donor's HIV resistant cells. That operation happened in 2013 after he was diagnosed with leukemia. The patient was monitored after the procedure and has remained HIV free. Right now, there is no proven cure, by the way, for the virus, only treatments. More than 84 million million people have been infected with HIV. Roughly 1.2 million are living here in the United States and 30,000 are diagnosed every year. Researchers say 13 percent are undiagnosed of those who have it. Local infectious disease doctor Dr. Mohamed Reza is joining us now on the morning show via Zoom. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So the stem cell donor had a mutation that prevents the protein used by HIV to enter cells. And this is now the fifth person to be cured of the virus after a stem cell treatment. Do you think that this treatment could become an option for patients infected with HIV in our country? Well, at this point, given the, the complications you can have from a trans cell, transplant itself, not yet. But this is just another option. It's, it's a hope for us to come up with a cure as time goes on. So what was done was there's a mutation called a CCR5 mutation that doesn't allow the virus to get into cells. So this person that we're treating their cancer, blood cancer, we got rid of their all of their immune system. So that in itself has a lot of complications. And then replace that with this donor who has this mutation that's resistant to HIV infection. This may be an option, hopefully, gives us another view into how we can come up with a cure. What can you tell us about medications that can be taken to reduce the chance of someone contracting the virus? Now, that's a great question. We have fantastic medications at this point. And you can take one pill once a day or an injection every two months to decrease your risk of contracting HIV by almost 99%. And this is for anyone that's sexually active. But like I say, this is a virus. It doesn't care about your sexual orientation, it doesn't care. It's gonna infect you if you're sexually active. So my biggest recommendation is get tested, know your status. And if you're negative and you are sexually active or you have high risk um, high risk uh, factors, get on these, some of these medications that can decrease your risk markedly. And if you're positive, then knowing is half the battle. Getting into treatment as early as possible has shown us that this is very treatable. It's not curable, but it's very treatable. I, I want to talk a little bit more in depth about who is most at risk in just a, a minute. But looking at some of the statistics when it comes to the state of Florida, where does our state kind of rank when it comes to states where people are considered to have a lifetime highest risk of catching this virus? It's actually one of the highest it, it, over the last many years. Florida is ranked between the top three states in the country for new risk, new rates of HIV infection. Miami-Dade has been one of the highest in the country, and, and Jacksonville is not too far from there. So that's why we say know your status, get tested. That's the first thing people need to do. And if you're sexually active, please, please take the precautions. Condoms also help. Um, you know, those are kind of the risk factors and precautions we can take. And, and African Americans and Hispanics are at a higher risk of of catching this virus than than Caucasians. It, it is, and it's due to the lack of access to medical care and knowledge at the end of the day. And there's a lot of taboo around this. Even uh, It's across the world is a reality. So it, it's because of lack of access. It has nothing to do with ethnicity. It's more so lack of access and knowledge. But at the same time, making this information available, medications like PrEP, which stands for preventing HIV infection, pre-exposure prophylaxis, um, it, it can markedly decrease your risk. Uh, one statistic that just blows my mind, one in two African-American um, men who have sex with men have a lifetime risk of HIV. One in four Hispanic men um, mm. that have sex with men have a lifetime risk of HIV. So those are staggering statistics. And we want to get that to where it's not transmissible anymore at this point because we have those tools available to us. And Dr. Reza, uh, finally, uh, you, you know, because you said that, uh, you know, this is this is a virus that doesn't care who it infects. Your message to parents with teenagers as they educate them about sex? It's get tested. Use protection, right? And a lot of people don't understand. You can get STDs from other methods than just having sex, oral sex, uh, other, other methods. So getting tested is knowing half the battle. Uh, and if you are sexually active, especially parents that have kids that are sexually active, please educate them because multiple studies have shown 
educating the children does decrease risk of STDs, HIV transmission, all of those things. And, and getting them on preventative medication uh, helps for sure to decrease risk of contracting this virus. Dr. Reza, infectious disease doctor here in our area. Thank you for your time this morning. Of course, thank you for having me.